Big Fat Man Scoop, Crook the Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching the Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there. And I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Batman school, Big Brando, let's go! What's happening everybody? Boy Big Brando and today let's talk about custom neck labels. Now this is something that I've been getting a lot of questions about lately. And mainly it's like, what is your custom neck label supposed to say? How do you press them into the t-shirts? Do you use woven tags? The ones that you have to sew in? What do your custom neck labels look like? I wanna do what you do, blah, blah, blah. For a lot of my stuff, I don't even put in custom neck labels no more. I used to do it all the time. I used to get t-shirts that had tearaway labels, rip those suckers off, press mine in. It does make the t-shirt look more legit, right? You have your own custom neck label in there. But for a lot of my brands that I run, like when I use Pro Club, Pro Club is one of the biggest selling points for my t-shirts. If I sat there and cut the stitching off of the Pro Club woven label and press my own tags in, it would hurt the sell. The Pro Club label helps me sell the shirt. When my customers see that I print on Pro Club t-shirts and they see the Pro Club tag, they know their size, they know the fit, they know the quality, they know that t-shirt. So it wouldn't help me to remove that tag, it helps me to have the tag in. It's not like that for every brand though. Every brand that I run is different. Some brands that I run, I do press the custom label in because that target audience doesn't care about the all style t-shirt tag. They just care about the design that's on the front. Now, if you wanna talk legality, like you wanna talk about the stuff that needs to be on a label, to make your t-shirt legit, there's a lot of stuff that has to be printed on there. So a lot of people think care instructions, size of t-shirt, and where the t-shirt was made will keep you legal. Technically it's not. If you ever look at the back of any tag, there is a lot of information on the back of a tag. When you're pressing your own in, all you're doing is putting your brand name, your website maybe, care instructions, how to care for the t-shirt. Do people really listen to the care instructions? Not so much. The size of the t-shirt. And then sometimes if it's 100% cotton, it works also, right? But if you really want it to be legal, there's a lot that has to be done. You gotta remember there's some t-shirts that have pressed in labels that doesn't have all that information, but it might have a hip tag that has all of that information. So if you're trying to do things the legal way, like quote unquote, the real legal way, there's a lot of information that you have to put on the shirt. And if you're confused on what information needs to be on that shirt, look at the back of the label before you rip it off and press your own in. You could see everything that's on there. Matter of fact, here is an all style t-shirt, right? That's the front of the label right there, their logo, all style premium. There's the size, oh, there's the size down there, where it was made what the material is of the t-shirt and on the back side look at all of this information if you want it to be legal you got to put all of that information in there right there's a lot of stuff on there just follow whatever's on the back of that tag and put it on your own tag if you didn't want to do that and you just wanted to press your own size label in by all means go for it i'm not here to give you legal advice I'm not here to tell you what you should and shouldn't do. When people ask me what should be on the back of the tag, if you wanna know what the legal thing to put on a tag is, it's already on the tag, so you can check it out. These tags right here were made to rip off. These are tearaway labels. A lot of t-shirt companies make tearaway labels. They're perforated, they're made to rip off. There are some companies that sew their tags in and they're not made to rip off. For example, here is an AS Color t-shirt and this tag is not made to rip off. This model of the shirt, this is an AS Color staple shirt, is not made to rip off. I think their other t-shirt that they have, I don't remember the model name, they make one that has a tearaway label. This one right here is not tearaway. There's all the information on the tag. There's all the information on the tag. But let's say you wanted to put your own tags in. I would use Plastisol transfers and I would probably do it in gray. 
It's easier to do it on gray because it'll show up on every color t-shirt. It even shows up on gray t-shirts also. But that way it works on whites, darks, blacks, blues, reds, browns, whatever color you want it to offer, gray shows up. Now the way I do it is if I'm doing any kind of gang sheet, doesn't matter what gang sheet I'm using. We'll use super color as an example. If I'm setting up a super color gang sheet and I got all these different designs, if I have a little bit of room on the bottom or on the side or in between, I will put size labels in there. That way it's just getting a free ride on that gang sheet. You're already paying for the designs and you're just filling it up with more labels. Does that mean super color is the only place to order your size labels? No. Any transfer company you use that offers gang sheets, throw your size labels on there. If you're using Transfer Express, if you're using any other transfer company, it doesn't matter what transfer company you use. If they offer gang sheets and you're already putting a bunch of designs on a gang sheet, if there's extra space, throw in your size labels on there. That way you're paying for your designs and then you're just getting a free ride for your custom labels. I like to put them in gray. You could use white and black and then have different colors. It's up to you. Gray just seems to be very, very easy for me to use. That's why I use it. There's a lot of other people that use gray also. One thing you gotta keep in mind is size of text. There might be a limitation to the size of font that you use. So just whatever transfer company you're using, look at what their limitations are. A lot of times they'll tell you what size weight of line you can use, how much of a gap you can use. All of that stuff is laid out on the website for you. So like I said, any transfer company you want to use, it doesn't have to be the transfer companies that I use. It could be any transfer company. As long as they offer gang sheets, throw your size labels on those gang sheets. Then when it comes to pressing them on, you can use a hat press. You can use your standard regular heat press with the little mouse pad or Teflon pillow. I got videos showing that. Just type in Big Brando custom labels, good to go. So remember, if you wanted to know what to put on the actual label, if you just want the basic bare minimum stuff, brand name, size of t-shirt, material of t-shirt, care instructions, that's all you would basically need. If you're doing this because you wanna create a label that makes you legal, look at the back of the label that you're actually ripping off and just copy that stuff. If you didn't wanna do that, leave the label in. This is all up to you on how you wanna operate. There's gonna be people saying, well, what do you mean legal? Should I be worried about taking the tag off? No, you operate how you want. Operate at your own risk. If you're concerned about the legality behind removing the tag or what to put on a tag, then leave it in. If you're not concerned with that, take it off. You do what works best for you. If you wanna ask my opinion, on some of my brands, I rip the label off, I press mine in. Some of my other brands, I leave the tags in. I don't even put my own custom one in there. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You do what works best for you. Hopefully this clears a lot of things up for people that are concerned about custom tags. Oh, there's gonna be a, people asking about woven labels, like how can they get them, how can they sew them in? I have no idea, I don't know any vendors that make woven labels, but if you Google searched woven neck labels, I'm pretty sure a bunch of vendors pop up. Order up, get you a sewing machine and sew your own in. If you didn't wanna do that, use transfers. That's what I do, it's easier. And I just throw my size labels onto any gang sheet that I'm using. Then when I get the gang sheets in, I cut them out with scissors, throw them in some envelopes, throw them in some Ziploc bags, throw them in little containers, whatever you need to separate the sizes, and then press them on as orders go out. That's how I do it. I don't use woven labels, but if you wanted to use the woven labels, Google search woven neck labels, and I'm pretty sure a bunch of different companies pop up get pricing, get quotes, send them your artwork, and then get you a sewing machine and sew them on. Easy as that, right? If you got any questions, leave it in the comments for me. Follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.